So in general, if a block, let's say, mark as Xn, some block, if not present in the cache, then it will raise a cache miss and corresponding block will be covered or copied from the lower level of memory. So let's say it is in the, in this picture, it is in the right hand, sorry, left hand side, it is showing that, okay, it's a present state of X, okay, which already contains some block like X4, X1, Xn2, etc. some block number. And then we are trying to get a block, uh, trying to ac access data from a block Xn, which is not present in the cache, in the left hand side, then what happens? This block will be copied from the lower level memory and be filled up first in the higher level cache memory. Xn, the right hand side uh, uh, block shows that Xn is copied in the last but one, that empty position, right? And then the data will be given back to the processor. Now at this point, two question. How do we know if a block is already as the cache? We kind of told that already in the previous slide. And if present, where to find that block? So that's also been partially given in the previous slide. What happens here? If a block, uh, like we compute from a given address, as I said in the previous slide, a block address, right? And then a, from the block address, we compute cache index and tag, right? So that cache index will dictate that where to find the block in the cache, which cache line to access, and then matching the tag in that cache line with the tag generated for, for this given address will be matched. And if they are equal, we have, we know that block is present in that cache. If the tag doesn't match, that means that block is not present in the cache. Now, if a block can go only into a specific cache line, the next slide explains the one I'm, I was iterating over words, then it is easy to find the block if present, right? We have the I calculate I, we go to that places and then given one specific cache line index, this is a software to find a block right and then it says that since this now this i is basically doing computed with the modulus operation then address like multiple address can be mapped into one single cache line right multiple so in this picture it is showing that like for example one five nine all of these can be mapped into this um, this one uh, blue cache uh, cache memory, blue line in the cache memory. Right? So this is not unique, like it can, for blocks, this I can be same for different blocks, block address. Now, how do we know the corresponding block is present or not? It basically, we look at the tag in the cache line and compare with the tag computed for that given block, for that given address, if they match, the block is present in the cache line. If they don't match, they are not present. It's the cache miss then. So this one, uh, let's uh, take a uh, take an example, right? So uh, the first operations, uh, this table, operation table tells us that there are a couple of block address we computed. So some from given address, we we basically uh, make a div operation with K and get a block address. So there are this block address, let's say it's a five bit block address. And then uh, we compute for this each block addresses, how the cache operation is done. Okay. so. So for you, it is it is basically filled up already to compute the cache and tag line. We know that uh, let's say cache line was three bit and tag was two bit. Then then we basically do this from the block address. We um, 
there are three bit cache line means there are eight cache line, right? So if we compute uh, like div and mod operation with this block address, we can come across the cache and cache line index and tag values. We, this is a, a modulus operation and this is the quotient, like from the division quotient operation, we are getting the tags. And then what happens, let's say we are accessing this block sequentially from top to bottom, then what we'll do here, like my cache, uh, this is upper right corner, this, this table shows you the initial configuration of the cache when you power it up. And we have all the cache line, uh, like 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 8 cache line. And we have, let's say, a valid bit, like within a control bit, we just, let's say, focusing on only one bit, which tells if the uh, cache line is valid or not. And initially it is, let's say, not valid because nothing is there or like it is not preloaded with some data. So tag is kind of empty, data is empty, so this line is not valid at all. So what happens now, for the first block access, it goes and determines the cache line to be 110. So it looks into 110, that row, uh, 110, and it says, sees that it is not a valid. So that becomes a cache miss. And then corresponding block is copied from the main memory to here. So for the operation one, what it will happen here, it will become a miss for the first operation. So we tagged a miss there and we copied the block from for this 10110 block address from the main memory. We stored the corresponding tag 10 in that cache line and mark the valid bit as a Y. So this is now a valid cache line. Then for the operation 2, if you look at the cache line determined is 0, 1, 0 and tag is 1, 1. So for that it will be a miss, right? Because that cache line is empty now and we will uh, copy that block for 11010 into that uh, cache line. We update the tag as 11 as we computed here for the uh, second row of that operation table and make the valid bit as, as Y. Now for the third operation 100110, the same block is being accessed uh, as the first one, right? So cache line is 110, 110. We code that line and see, okay, that's a valid bit. Now we compare the tag. This is tag is 10 for the third line. Tag is 10, that's match. So that's a an, that's an hit and we access the data from here. Then for operation three, it is uh, 11010, which is cache line 010, which is a valid. Now we match the tag 11. Here is also content 11 in the cache. So we take the data. So for these two operation, operation 2, uh, so operation 3 and operation 4, they are hit. And operation 1 and 2, they were miss. And they, it, it, it basically needed a copy from the lower level memory. Then the next four, let's say 1001, one, sorry, 10000, cache line is 0, tag is 10, which is, which was basically, if you look at that line was not valid, so it is a miss, and corresponding block is copied, and the tag being updated as a 10, and valid bit to make it valid, like Y. And the next one, 0011, is 011 cache line, which is not valid. So we need, we, this is a maze. So we copy that block from the uh, corresponding block from the lower memory, up the tag with 00, and make the valid bit Y. Next one is 1000 block, which is basically present in 
in the memory cache line 000, zero tag matched and that's a that's a hit and then if we do 10010 where where my tag is 10 and cache line is 010 zero. so if we look at that 010 zero, it's a valid now we match the tag see the tag computed for this last row in the operation table is 10 whereas corresponding tag line uh, cache line has a tag 11 so they don't match so that's a miss so this at this point this corresponding cache line will be replaced with the block 10010 and then a tag is updated and then that corresponding data is accessed from that cache line so you can well imagine if at the power of state the probability of miss is high right because nothing is in the cache so as the operation goes on your cache being filled up with the blocks and with the virtue of the locality of the software program the spatial and temporal locality we get more and more heat later on so which keeps overall heat rate high so if you only concentrate on the first uh, few cycles or of the operations from the power up state you will see a lot of miss there but as the cache is filled up and it's it's operated for quite a while your heat rate grows grows and grows and it becomes like uh, like above 90 95 percent and with the help of this uh, locality property of software and it then it start giving processor an illusion of having a large memories but and but faster as well like which are in contradiction property anyway but to processor it becomes with this technique that we have a fast and large memory.